Hi. Uh, tonight you're going to meet my big loser half-brother, Artie. It's a pretty clean show, except for one joke about a severed foot. And there's also a vague reference to a balloon stuck up somebody's... Actually, uh, now that I think about it, it's a pretty dirty show. So, uh, I'll tell you what, right after our special Pokémon opening. That's right, kids, Pokémon! <laughs> you might want to put the littler tykes to bed during the commercial. Thank you, and enjoy the show. So according to your mom, you've been watching this cartoon called uh, Pokemon, and now all you do is uh, run around the city trying to capture these so-called creatures. Is that true, Tommy? I'm not Tommy. I'm Ash. I have to train Pokemon for battle. I gotta catch them all. Look, uh, Ash, what you have to do is uh, learn to differentiate between fantasy and reality. A good way is to remember that uh, fantasy is good, whereas reality, bad. <laughs> You can't keep me here. Yes, I can. No, you can't. <laughs> Pikachu, I choose you! Pikachu! Surprise! Surprise, too! I'm a Pokemon trainer. That's right. Squirtle, I choose you! Squirtle. <laughs> You've chosen a water Pokemon. He's no match against my electric Pokemon. Electric? I'll be in my shell. You tell me how it works out, okay? Pikachu, attack! Quit hiding. You're a fighting Pokemon. I trained you to fight. What training? We sat around, drank coffee, and watched women's tennis. You said you were going to work out on your own. Ah, fine. Butterfree, I choose you! Tweet, tweet. Butterfree, whirlwind attack. I don't want to do the whirlwind attack. It's too girly. I want to do something else. I'm going to throw a chair at him. Charmander, I choose you! Charmander, charm! Put on his fire with your water, Squirtle. Actually, I have a rash, and it hurts when I squirtle. Jesse. James. And meow. There you are, Ash. Team Rocket is here to steal your Pokemon. Yeah, well, you can have mine. I'm just gonna use this one for soup anyway. We gotta end this now, Pikachu. We will meet again. You know, providing I survive the series of skin grafts and years of painful physical therapy. Too bad that you're not as smart as you thought you were in the first place. Too bad that you had to get caught. That's not like you to lose face. So sad that you're not as smart as you thought you were. No wonder you're having financial problems. Your paperwork's a disaster. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, when I was a hockey player, I had an accountant do all this stuff, but it doesn't look that hard, right? When's the last time you balanced your checkbook? Oh, uh, I think it was uh, yesterday. You don't even know what that means, do you? No. no. <laughs> We've got about a year's worth of unopened bank statements here, so just for fun, let's look at last month's. Oh, <gasps> my God. What? Do I have a lot of money? Am I rich? <laughs> closed your account and they included a picture with all the tellers giving you the finger. Oh, man, I hope that's not my insane landlady again. By insane, do you mean she wants you to pay the rent? Yeah, rent. She's obsessed with it. Rent, rent, rent. I'm like, hey, if you love the rent so much, why don't you marry it? Ah, <laughs> oh, no, it's my crippled neighbor. Oh, Norm, tell me you don't call her that to her face. Hey there, lazy. How you doing? <laughs> Yesterday was the Walk for a Miracle Marathon. You pledged $5 a mile. Oh, yeah, 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 I forgot. Uh, well, let me see. Uh, oh, uh, here you are. I got 10 bucks. I did the full 26 miles. You did the whole... What? 
Hold on a second. You used the chair, didn't you? Well, I hope you weren't expecting me to throw myself on the ground and drag myself along. Well, actually, I was. I mean, five bucks a mile, you know. <laughs> well, listen, uh, regardless of that, uh, you know, I am, uh, I am uh, willing to give you this $10 towards the miracle. Thanks. We'll name the vaccine after you. Now you're completely broke. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, listen, Margie, if you guys aren't up uh, walking in a month, I'll need that money back, all right? <laughs> Social services, what's your problem? I'll put you through. Taylor, that is not the way to answer the phone. You must say it like this. Hello, Department of Social Services. How may I direct your call? Hello, Department of Social Services. How may I direct your call? Hey, Shelly. Hi, Norm. Hey, you want to get married? Still no. You know, Norm, you're a lot like Evil Knievel. Half the fun's watching you crash and burn. <laughs> I've got a message for you. Your brother already called. He's in town. Oh, yeah? You're kidding. No, oh, he's coming by later. Norm, you never told me you had a brother. You never asked. Yes, I did. At your last probation meeting, I asked, do you have a brother? And you said, no, I do not have a brother. <laughs> well, I was probably thrown by your vague question. Besides which, Artie is my half-brother. We have different moms. So, uh, why do you never talk about him? Do you guys have problems? Well, we have a kind of a weird relationship, you know, because he was always a big loser, and I was always a super handsome, successful athlete. You want to get married? Norm, when you've asked me that for the millionth time, do you think balloons and confetti and a big old sign that says yes will just pop out of my butt? <laughs> Uh, that's true. It'd be pretty cool if I asked you on New Year's Eve. Sure, <laughs> Norm, you know, maybe you and your brother will get along better now that you're a big loser, too. <laughs> I guess by loser, you mean the court sentenced me to the same job that you chose as a profession? Yeah, that's exactly what I mean. Loser. <laughs> dire situation. The other place fell through. Oh. What's going on? He won't let us have it here. I'm sorry, we don't have the insurance. And besides, I'm not going to put my reputation on the line for this ticking political time bomb. Political time bomb. Toys for orphans. <laughs> oh, toys for orphans? I thought we were talking about your idea, sterilizing immigrants. <laughs> which, which, of course, I, I, I'm against. Of course. Oh, damn you. Uh, listen, everybody, I, I, I wanted to let you know that uh, Lori and Shelley's Toys for Orphan Party is going to be held here in the office uh, at my insistence. Hey, Lori. Thank you, Mr. Denby. FYI, the toy donation barrel has been out for three weeks now. All we've received is a remote control truck. <laughs> Don't break that, Norm. 32 orphans have to play with that. <laughs> You scrawny freak! How are you? Hey, hey, hey. Alrighty, old son of a gun. Hey, that's a sharp suit. Hey, what did Armani uh, sew two suits together special or something like that? <laughs> hey, let me introduce you around. Well, I bet I can guess who's who from the way you described them on the phone. You must be Taylor, right? How you doing? Good to see you. Wait a minute, I didn't see her. Hi, uh, I'm Danny. I'm sure Norm's told you all about me. Oh, yeah, Danny, yeah. Norm says you're like the nuttiest guy in the whole darn place. How you doing? Oh, good. good to see you, oh, man. Okay. Hey, <laughs> uh, hey uh, Artie, I want you to meet my uh, probation officer, Shelley Kilmart. Oh, nice to meet you. My brother speaks of you with such respect and admiration. I really think you're helping him. <laughs> that ought to get you some. <laughs> Only if you're gonna give it to him. <laughs> hey, I brought everybody a little something. Oh, hey, Artie, you didn't have to do that. No, I'm doing real well now. I'm in the import-export business. import ex. Artie, you don't have a balloon full of something stuck way up inside of you, do you? Would you give me a break? I'm doing great. I'm making a ton of money moving factory seconds. Whatever this is, I'm gonna need bigger ones. <laughs> They're dress shields. They're making a comeback. Come on, pass them around. Oh, Lori. Lori, this is the last toy collection barrel, oh. the one from down in the Bowery. Did we get anything? Oh, it's 
It looks like a foot. What are we gonna do, Lori? We can't have a Toys for Orphans party without toys. Hey, let me take care of that for you. I got a warehouse full of toys. You're kidding! <laughs> nah, just tell me what you need. Oh, Artie, you're the best. Artie, you're like a big Santa. <laughs> Not because you're fat. <laughs> hey, you know what, Artie? You don't have to do that. Uh, you know, I already planned to, to get the toys myself. It's all taken care of. Why didn't you say that earlier? Huh. Well, I was trying to build drama, you know? I was trying to use suspense. Why don't you shut up, huh? Well, you know what, Norm? I don't know how or why you're doing this. I just think it's terrific. What are you doing? Why don't you let Artie get the toys? Well, because Artie will never get the toys. He's just lying. He's a big show-off. He's full of crap, that guy. Well, why didn't you tell Shirley? Right, because he's my brother. I'm not gonna badmouth him, you know? Well... They got me on hold. Okay, now remember, this is my last chance to get toys. So, you know, try to act really, really crippled. You know? <laughs> You just, just cripple it up there. Yeah, yeah. I know how to do that. Hello? Like I was saying, I need a donation of a couple hundred kids' toys. I need them fast, and I need you to wrap them. <laughs> Hello? Hello? <laughs> ah, I told you this would never work. Ah, uh, you were right. On the phone, you're not a courageous, handicapped inspiration. It was, oh, you're a bitch. <laughs> well, maybe if I'm a bit... Harsh at times, it's because life has been harsh to me. Oh, yeah, listen, I, I'm sorry about that, Margie. Yeah, I got your schmuck. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, Artie, listen, I'd like you to meet uh, Marge. Marge, this is Artie. Hi, how are you? Guess what? This is not a hearing aid. <laughs> Hey, what's that? Hey, that's a little wiener dog. Ah, oh, this guy's super smart. I can tell. He tricked you into thinking he's an appropriate pet for a grown man. <laughs> hey, this was on your door, man. It says they're gonna shut off your electricity. Oh, oh, this. Oh, yeah. No, no, this is a clever menu from, uh, we're turning off your electricity pizza joint down the street. I know you're in there, Henderson. Shh, shh. It's my landlady. What's wrong? Uh, nothing. It's just this, uh, this hilarious game I play with my landlady. I want the rent, you dirtbag! It's called, I want the rent, you dirtbag. <laughs> I play the dirtbag. <laughs> Pay no attention to her. She, she's just trying to get attention. You think you can ignore me? Try living here without a door. <laughs> I've been trying to get her to get rid of that door forever. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You pay the rent, you get your door back. You know, you could have just told me you don't have any money. Well, that's embarrassing, you know? Look, you don't have to go putting on a big front about it. How are you going to get toys for orphans? Well, I don't know, but, uh, you know, you were saying you had a big warehouse full of toys. You know, how would Shelly have felt about me after you didn't deliver? Listen, I'm doing real well right now. Look, this is a real Rolex, man. Why don't you let me help you out? All those years of you helping me, I'm glad I can finally do it. Uh, all right, thanks. And listen, you obviously got a thing for this Shelly broad, so why don't we let her believe that you got the toys? I don't know. I feel kind of funny about this, still. I feel funny about this, too. One of your creepy neighbors is watching. <laughs> Finish your bathroom? No. OK, I'll wait till you leave. <laughs> You know, Norm, it was so great of you to do this for the orphans. Oh, yeah. That's my big brother. Wonderful man, wonderful lover. <laughs> so how did you get your friend to give you all these toys for free? Oh, uh, well, he's an old war buddy. Uh, you were never in the military. Oh, no, I mean the card game war. <laughs> Actually, he's more of a crazy ace buddy, you know. <laughs> Sorry we're late. We parked on the street. Very nice man with no teeth is watching the car. You know, Norm, I don't know how we're ever going to repay you for this. Oh, uh, yeah? Well, you know, most guys are so crude they want sex. <laughs> but not me. <laughs> Thank you.
Uh, you know, listen, why don't you guys go make some room in the back of the truck and I'll open the door, all right? <laughs> it's not usually padlocked. I'll just get the key. <laughs> What's that? Sometimes it sticks. <laughs> God, we're stealing these toys. You're going to get my friends arrested. Look, we're not stealing these toys. Oh, are you kidding me? Who opens a door like that? What do you know about it? You don't even have a door. <laughs>should have known we were stealing. I've seen this in a hundred movies. The, the broken warehouse door, the, the dirty alley. All we need is a, is a shifty-eyed guy glancing from side to side. You're the shifty-eyed guy. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? These are my friends, you know? You know how long Danny's gonna last in prison? Hey, can I keep this pirate hat? <laughs> hey, guys, listen, uh, there's been an emergency. Mr. Denby called here on the cellular phone, and uh, he says we all have to go back to the office because there's a... Uh, uh, an emergency with uh, one of Shelley's cases. Oh, my God. Is it Mr. Johnson? Huh? Uh, well, what's his first name? Frank. Frank Johnson. That's him. That's the dude. Oh, my God. We better go. Frank Johnson. You don't suppose he's... Yes, I do suppose. Oh, of course. No. Frank Johnson, are you kidding me? <laughs> what are you doing, man? It's bad enough you disappoint me, but, you know, you're stealing toys from orphans, you know? What's next? You know, stealing toys from orphans? There's nothing worse than that. There's no next. <laughs> Look, take the toys. They're not stolen. My partner in the import business screwed me over. He owes me a ton of money. I'm just taking it out in merchandise. You're just a screw-up like you always been, you know? What, do you think you're going to impress me because you strut into the office with your big fancy suits and your dress shields? Do I detect a little note of jealousy? Just for once, you can't be the golden boy, huh? I'm jealous of you. You've always been jealous of me because I had the skinny mother. <laughs> Look, I don't know what your problem is. This is all completely legal. It would hold up in any court of law. <laughs> Run! I don't want to do Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Well, again. I don't want to do it either. But we have to keep the children entertained while we wait for Norm and Artie to get here. And then the children can enjoy watching me kill them. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to try to call him. Oh. Go to the other room. I don't think kids should hear that kind of language. <laughs> Can't I get out of this now? I used to have a client at the massage parlor who made me dress up like this. I'm guessing all the beds there were just right. Uh, Mr. Denby? Once upon a time, there were three bears. Uh... Stop the mo Stop the moaning! a master's degree in administration. I don't have to take this kind of disrespect from you brats. There was no emergency. Where the hell have you been? Look, Artie was trying to steal those toys. I told him to go to hell. But anyways, I, I got some great presents that, that I found right in my house. Come on, kids. Open them up. What was that? A spatula? And an egg beater? Well, maybe to you, but... To the mind of a child, why, why that's a water whirly and that's a daffy paddle. I got a toaster. I got a piece of bread. Hey, why don't you two kids play together? <laughs> oh, hey, hey, somebody got a catch a packet mobile. <laughs> yeah. You know what, everybody, we're all go down the lunchroom and I'm gonna buy ice cream bars for everybody and yeah. that way at least they can play with those little yeah. sticks. Hey, hey, are there any kids here without parents who want some toys? Yeah. Hey, Annie, Lori, Fancy's out. Will you do me a favor? Hey, I can't let you give these kids stolen toys. They're not stolen. I bought them. How'd you buy them? None of your business. Hey, hey, what happened to your Rolex? Look, who needs a watch when you have the love and admiration of kids like this, you know? Material things just don't seem to matter. I miss my watch, man. Yeah, Artie, you did a great thing for the kids, man. Well, actually, I did it for you, too. I don't want you to think I was a screw-up my whole life, you know? You know how I feel about you, man. Oh, uh, yeah? What, are you gonna tongue-kiss me now? <laughs> You're welcome. Man. Look at those kids, though. Aren't they happy there? Yeah, it fills me with all kinds of feelings, you know? Hey, any of you kids want some pie? Yeah! Yeah, yeah well, I'd like to know what time it is! <laughs>
it's ready. Come on in. <laughs> well, you got me a door, huh? Yeah. A guy owed me a favor, so I used it to get you a door, man. <laughs> That's great. Look, it's even got my business hours. <laughs> so listen, man, I'm all packed up, so I'm gonna get going. Oh, hey, you know, everything turned out all right. Why, why don't you stay here? Really? You'd let me stay in your apartment? Good God, no. I mean the city. You can stay in the city. <laughs> but you can hang out here until you find a place. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, you can't have this door. You hear me? You see me open up. 